all of us were, had a relationship before music came along. To me, that was the most, you know, that was the context in which all the music happened. Was, the friendship was already there. And so, um, when the opportunity came around, you know, you just want to have an experience with your friends, really. That's, you know, Dan married to my sister Kathy. Mike, for a while, was dating my sister Mimi. Brown was a youth group leader. I had a crush on him for a while. I had a crush on him for a while. I mean, really. It was a little rascals. It was. <laughs> like little we, rascals. we were little rascals, yeah. And we all, um, and, and making music was just the framework in which we enjoyed our friendship. Long story short, and I'll end here, is the, uh, we'd written a song for a good friend of ours named Bill Jackson, Debbie and I, and she'd written this lyric and wanted to do something special for him and had me this lyric 30 minutes later and it was friends. And so I wrote the melody like in three, four minutes and we sang it for Bill that night and everybody cried. And I remember waking up the next day going, I think I kind of like this song, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Box. And I remember I, I, I remember I took it in because oh, Mike man. and Dan both knew that I wanted to do a record, you know, and, and I played Mike friends. I kept thinking, this will be great for Amy. This will be Fun. great for Amy. Yes. And I remember vividly getting on the elevator with you and riding down the elevator and Blanton took my arm and said, Amy doesn't, no offense, Amy doesn't need to cut this song. You need to cut this song. There you go. And so I did the project, and then I, and then in 80, from 82 to 84, I opened up for Amy. And we, if I'm not mistaken, we sang it at the end of the night together. And so the rest is history. Though it's hard to let you go In the Father's hands we know That a lifetime's not too long To live as friends